Java tree. Shall I compare line BC and angle BAC to a summer thing? He who thinks to math before proving all the mixed rate errors. Before anything else, using clever tricks to explain a general solution using vectors to find a vector that is an angle bisector of the angle between two given vectors, vector A and vector B, in terms of, in terms of vector A and vector B, is the key. of Flight Club is that you solve a simpler problem first. How do you find the angle bisector if vectors A and B are of equal magnitude? If life gives you equal vectors A and B, make an isosceles triangle. Tono, I don't think we're on the continent plane anymore! Name's Born. Vector Born. The angle bisector between vectors A and B. If vector Born bisects angle A, B, C, then we get two congruent angles, A, B, B, and B, B, C, and one Great triangle. We have vector A and vector B. Vector A is AX comma AY. Vector B is BX comma BY. And as you can see from this fluffy diagram, um, B is halfway between A and B. This is because of HL postulate, which means that these triangles both have to be congruent to each other. The components of both triangles must be congruent. This side is congruent to this side, and therefore, if we just label them as Y, they are congruent, and therefore, the Y component is halfway between A and B, which means that the Y component should be one half of the Y components of uh, A and C added together. Ditto for X, so you have um, B being one half in between the x values of a and b, and therefore ax plus bx over 2 equals b. It's cool, uh, x to be or not to be. That is the angle bisector magnitude does not matter as long as it still bisects the angle. Therefore, we can multiply vector bond by a scalar or two to find a new angle bisector ax plus bx comma ay plus by. As you can see, this is the same result you get by simply adding the two vectors. Therefore, if you want to find the angle bisector between two vectors of equal magnitude, you can just add them together. How do we solve a general case where the two vectors are of unequal magnitude? Look, I am your unit vector. I will divide you by your magnitude. To find beta, the unit vector, all you have to do is divide the original vector by its magnitude. This can be proven through basic algebra. Elementary, my dear Watson. Therefore, we simply add the two unit vectors together to get the angle bisector of angle to any two vectors. Our solution, therefore, is vector A divided by the magnitude of vector A plus vector B divided by the magnitude of vector B. Houston, we have a problem. We haven't solved part A yet. The vector from A to D is simply D minus A. We must find point D, the intersection of line AD and line BC. The vector of the angle bisector of angle BAC is the unit vector of B minus A plus the unit vector of C minus A. This is because vectors must start from the origin, and subtracting A from B shifts this vector back to the origin, leaving us with the vector from A to B. Therefore, we have the vector from A to B to become 6 minus 4, comma 3 plus 2, or 2, comma 5. And the vector from A to C becomes 12, 4. The unit vectors are 2 square root 29 over 29, comma, 5 square root 29 over 29, and 3 square root 10 over 10, comma, square root of 10 over 10. To find the slope of the angle bisector, we can divide the difference between the two y coordinates by the difference of the two x coordinates, rise over one, which is the square root of 290 minus 1 over 17. To find the equation of line DA, we use point slope form to arrive at y plus 2 is equal to square root of 290 minus 1 over 17 times x minus 4. One small step for man, one large leap for part A. To find BC, we must first find the slope through the change in the y coordinates over the change in the x coordinates, which is negative 1 tenth. We can then use point slope form to find the equation of the line, which is y minus 3 equals negative 1 tenth 
times six, x minus 6, further simplified to y equals negative 1 tenth times x plus 3.6. We can find the intersection between these lines using a system of equations to find d. Substituting in y provides us with the x coordinate 40 times square root of 290 plus 496 all over 131. We can then plug this back in to find the y coordinate of point d. Point d's coordinates are 40 root 290 plus 496 over 131 comma negative 4 root 290 plus 422 over 30, 131. Subtract point D from point A to find the vector from A to D. This leaves us with the vector of D from the origin being 40 square, square root 290 minus 28 over 131 comma 684 minus 4 square root 290 over 131.